thanks for checking our channel out again. Welcome back. We're glad you're back. We're back. We're going to get this video going today with one of daddy favorites, which is Hush Puppies. Yep. So he loves some Hush Puppies with some corn in it. We're going to put some green onions in it. We're going to make these Hush Puppies today with a oldie but goodie easy less than a dollar box of comb bread yep i said it comb bread so we got some jiffy cornbread mix here and we're gonna make these hush puppies good so i am going to add a little flour so i'm gonna show you how to do it now if you've never made this jiffy's cornbread before it's really easy you just follow the box so generally, you're going to need one egg, some milk, and your package of cornbread mix that comes right in this box. So I got a few boxes in the cabinet, which is another reason why I'm trying to get rid of these cornbread boxes. So you don't always have to make your regular cornbread, you know, spice it up, juice it up, make it into something else that you normally would eat, but in a different way. And we're gonna put some corn in these hush puppies because these are gonna be a sweet corn hush puppy. So we have some corn here, and then I also have some green onions. So I'm not gonna use the regular onions for the hush puppy, so we're gonna put these green onions in there which is real good so y'all follow me along we're gonna we're gonna make this together so go ahead and get your ingredients get your cornbread i'm quite sure you have some in your cabinet right now if you don't go to the store like i said it's less than a dollar you can get you a couple boxes and i'm ready are you ready let's go okay, so in here is the two eggs but i only use just the egg yolks so I'm going to put that in there. And I've made hush puppies before, but I've never made them with this Jiffy cornbread mix, y'all. So we're trying this together, okay? We're going to do this together, and we're going to see how it comes out. Now, if you love hush puppies, you know, this is a good recipe. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that in the bowl now again the recipe called just for two regular eggs so you just put the egg yolk in the egg but daddy doesn't really like eggs so i'm just only going to use the egg yolk for this recipe so i'm gonna um start out by mixing these ingredients up and with hush puppy batter you want it to be on the thicker side so when you're making this regular cornbread, it's going to be a little looser as you add your milk. So we're going to add the flour in to try to take away some of that moisture. But like I said, if you were just making regular cornbread, we wouldn't be adding this flour. It looks good already. Stir this up first so I know how much flour I need to add. And you can put whatever you want in your cornbread. So this cornbread is just a base for you to experiment. Now, if I had some bacon, I would put that in here. If I had, if you want to make a bacon, jalapeno, cheddar uh, type cornbread, you start with the basic cornbread box mix and then add on. So I have the batter mix and as you can see, it's still a little um, like runny. So I'm gonna just go in first. Now this is my flour container. I already have this measuring cup in here, which is a half a cup. So let's start out with that first. And I got this big bag from the store. This bag can pretty much last me half a year, depending on what I'm using it for. Cause I don't really bake that often. And a lot of the recipes that I do cook doesn't call for flour. All right, so this is a half a cup of flour. So to the cornbread mix, I'm gonna go ahead and add this. So let's see how that is. And again, hush, pup, hush puppies is a little bit thicker. So that way also, cause we gonna fry these and you want your dough 
to not fall apart when you put it in the fryer. Which is why we're adding this flour to make sure it stays together. So I don't know where we, how we started to eat these hush puppies with corn. It was just a matter of experimenting one day. Um, and I think he had went to the store and seen these. And, you know, off the late night with the munchies, he just was like they was good. And since then, he just been on these hush puppies. You see, so now it's, it's coming together. So, like I said, this is my first time making these. So what I think I'm gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna add one more cup of flour. I'm gonna add another half a cup of flour. Okay. Because I just want to make sure that when I put them in the grease, that they don't fall apart. And if y'all watch my catfish nugget video, I'm gonna do a test piece anyway. So when you're cooking things like this, especially when it's your first time cooking them and you don't really, you don't really know what to expect um, as far as like the seasonings or the texture, do a test piece first, which means you want to put one at a time. You want to put one piece in at a time, make sure it's seasoned good, the texture is good, because that's like the worst thing to do is, oh my God, I'm about to make this meal. It's going to be so good. And you did all of that work. You put it on the stove, cooked it, and then you done made all of it to come to find out it's not what you really wanted. So if you do it in the beginning, before you actually can get to the point where you done messed up the whole batch, you can kind of correct what you did and what you need to fix. So I like this texture better. So as you can see, it's, um, it's giving me like a gift. Is giving me a give when I stir it. So I like this texture. And if you want, depending on how sweet you like your hush puppies, you can taste it and see if it has enough sugar in it for you. If it does have enough sugar, that's fine. So I'm gonna taste it. Okay. So that's good. So it got a nice oniony flavor in the background. I'm gonna add just a little bit, y'all because these are sweet corn hush puppies so you want to make sure it has that good amount of sweet to it but not overly sweet see how long it's taking to get off that fork that's what you want and you just want to stir it know if it's thick enough because when you stir it you gotta like uh, you gotta you know Put your wrist in it. Put your whole body into it. Like you're doing the hula hoop. Ooh. But you're doing it with your fork. <laughs> so y'all gotta have fun in the kitchen. That's the only way your food gonna come out, you know, good and flavorful. You gotta put the love into it. You gotta put the happy into it. So even if you know deep down inside this dish is gonna be a flop, you have fun making it, you know. You can say, oh, I tried, girl. I, I I put this in it. I put that in it. I thought it was going to be good. But next time, you can make it better. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this grease up. This was some fresh grease that I have right here. And um, I'm going to give it a second. We're going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and drop these hush puppies. All right, y'all. So I got my grease on. This oil is pretty much heated up. Again, I'm going to go in first with the test piece. Use a tablespoon. I'm going to drop it off in this oil. It's going to get nice and golden brown. And we want to make sure that we, you know, fry it long enough so that way we know the dough in the inside is done. So I got my bowl here. And depending on how big or how small you want them, you can kind of determine it. So these, I got my heat on a medium high because I want these to get, you know, nice and crispy. No, no, mom, stop. I see that. Um, that was what you call a flop because it's just all over the place. I'm gonna scratch that and I'm gonna add some more flour because it did not hold the way I want it to. 
So I'm going to scoop all these little residue pieces up and I'm going to try it again. Like I said, live bloopers on this channel. I'm not going to edit it out. If I see that something didn't work out the way I planned, I'm going to show you. And here it is, live prime time in this pot. So let me fix this and I'm going to come back. All right. So we're going to attempt to do this again. I added a whole nother cup of flour. So let's see if that helps. And like I said, I want this to be a lot thicker. I'm going to form it into a bowl this time. And hopefully it holds its shape that way better. All right. So I think we got it now because it's actually thicker than the first time that I did it. Way thicker. So I just added another whole cup to the original batter that we did. And this is actually what we're looking for. So you want to have it on your spoon and you want it so that when you take it off the spoon, you can kind of like mold it into the shape of the hush puppy. It's going to be sticky, of course, it's going to be sticky. But if you can do this, then we should be golden. So let's try now. Okay, this is clean grease. Rotate them around a little bit. So you want to try to flip it like one time. And that way it can start to form a crust. So right now he's at work. So when he gets home, he'll have a nice little treat waiting. And then the kid is about to go ahead and eat theirs now. And I got my strainer over here waiting. So when I take them out, Drain that grease off. You want to make sure that you're cooking the hush puppies long enough where the dough on the inside is cooking. The cornbread mix and that flour. And nice and golden brown. These sweet corn hush puppies made from Jiffy cornbread. It's nice and breaded in the inside how you want it to be. It's nice and crispy on the outside. And you can see the specks of corn that's in the actual batter. If some of the green onion little specks. So you can see like green little specks in there. So this came out real good, y'all. Y'all gotta try it. Now, to put some sauce on here, just come in with some ketchup. You know, uh, ketchup is really good with these. Or if you want to dip them in butter, you can. But we already fried them, so you don't need the butter. So just come in with some ketchup, and these will be good. So we're going to be coming to y'all with these videos back to back to back. This is a homemade cooking video. So come again, y'all. Like, subscribe. Let us know how your hush puppy came out. And we'll see you again next video. See you 